Hi, I'm Pamela Bruner from MakeYourSuccessEasy.com and this is the first in a series of videos designed for you, the transformational entrepreneur. If you want to transform people's lives and the world with what you do and make great money doing it, you're in the right place. And you've probably struggled with money, marketing, and sales. Well, those are the, exactly the three things that I'm going to cover in this video series. Today we're going to start with marketing and why it's so important to be in alignment when you market. Here's the thing, I could give you all sorts of great ideas about marketing. For example, the idea that marketing is transformational, that even just talking to people about what you do and letting them know the services that you provide or the products that you provide can make a positive change, a positive difference in their life. But if you've got other beliefs, like marketing is pushy and no one wants to hear what I have to say, and people aren't going to like me when I market. I can tell you all those great ideas about marketing, and you can even partly believe them. But those other thoughts are going to be interfering and keeping you from being in integrity and authentic with people when you go out to market. Think of the last time that you saw a movie or a TV show where someone was trying hard not to be something, trying hard not to be ungraceful, or trying hard not to look concerned or worried. They look ridiculous. Trying not to be something never works. So if you're trying not to be pushy or trying not to be aggressive or not to be disliked or rejected when you go out and market, I hate to tell you, but other people probably know. Next in line is trying to be something. You can try too hard and it'll backfire on you. The best way to be authentic and in alignment when you go out and market is just to be. But in order to do that, we have to get rid of all those thoughts that are whispering in your ears, no one's going to like you when you do this. This is too pushy. No one wants to hear what you have to say. As long as those thoughts are operating, you are out of alignment, you are out of integrity, and it is being communicated to the very people who could use your services most and who most want to pay you for what you do. So how do we get rid of those? Well, for me, my method of choice is EFT tapping. So I am going to walk you through an EFT tapping routine today and have you join me and see if this doesn't start to shift some of those negative beliefs that you have about marketing. So you can become more in alignment, more authentic, and coming more from your heart when you talk to prospective clients. They'll pick up on it and it will dramatically increase your response, your sales, and the money that you make. Ready? If you've never done EFT tapping before, it's a simple uh, self-administered acupressure technique. Now I will tell you, it looks a little ridiculous. You're tapping on your face, your body, with two fingers, one hand, and you're going to repeat phrases after me. How can this possibly make a difference? Well, you know what I'll ask you to do? Is suspend disbelief for a few minutes and tap along with me. Because if I've got something that can increase your bottom line, help you make more money, help you serve more people, make more of a difference in the world, and grow the business that you want to grow, are you willing to play with me for just a few minutes? Let's give it a try. All right, so I'm going to show you the EFT tapping points like this. Top of the head is the first one. Now I just tap with two fingers, or if it's big enough, I tap with my whole hand. I don't care what hand you use. Um, this is a very forgiving technique, okay? So top of the head, the beginning of the eyebrow, again, either hand, either side, cross sides, it doesn't matter. Beginning of the eyebrow, side of the eye right on the bony ridge there, under the eye, also on the bony ridge, and I'm just tapping gently under the nose, between the nose and upper lip, the chin point, which is actually the indentation right between the chin and lower lip, on the collarbone point, find those two bony protrusions right where a man would knot his tie, go outside and down from them. That's where you want to tap. And then under the arm, about four inches down from the armpit on the side of the body, I tap with my whole hand. All right, now I know it looks crazy, but here's what we're going to do. I want you to pick a statement about marketing that really has some emotional juice for you. Even if you don't believe it rationally, if it twists your gut or makes you feel uncomfortable emotionally, that's what we really want to work on. So maybe the feeling that, you know, marketing is pushy, or no one will like me if I market, or, you know, marketing feels all about me, it feels selfish. I want you to pick a phrase that really resonates with you. And then tell me how strongly it resonates on a scale of zero to 10. Zero being, you know what, I don't believe that anymore. It has, it has no power for me. And 10 being, that is absolutely, completely emotionally true for me. 
Have you got it? Have you got your phrase and your number? So let's start tapping. Tap the top of the head and repeat after me. Marketing feels pushy to me. Eyebrow. I just want to do what I do. Outside of the eye. The service I provide for people is important. Under the eye. I know what I do makes a difference for people. Under the nose. And I really just want to offer what I offer. On the chin. But I don't want to mark it. Collarbone. Marketing feels sleazy to me. Under the arm. I know that people won't like me if I market to them. Top of the head. What if I could believe something different? What if I could believe that marketing could make a difference? Not just for me, but for the people I talk to. Could marketing really be transformational? No, it still feels pushy. It still feels like I'm grabbing all the limelight. And why would anyone really want to listen to me? I don't want to be pushy. I don't want people not to like me when I market. And I don't want them to think it's all about the money. It would be different if I knew that I wasn't getting anything in return. But when I market, I know it will benefit me. That feels so selfish. Is there any way around this? There's a part of me that feels out of integrity when I mark it. And I'd love to have another thing to believe. I wonder if I could let go of this idea. I wonder if I could embrace marketing as offering my services. If people really need what I do, and I know there are a lot of people out there who need me, then aren't I making a difference in their lives? Just by telling them what I do, doesn't that make a difference? Maybe it does. Maybe it is possible to market from service. I'd love to think that marketing was transformational. I'd love to think that marketing was something virtuous. I'd love to think that marketing was something I could be proud of. And I'm open to considering that idea. I'm not sure if I'm willing to give up my beliefs yet. But I am open to something new. Take a deep breath. And now take a look at that statement that had you emotionally charged before. Is it still the same intensity or has it shifted? Maybe that number is lower, but maybe a new belief has taken its place because we don't usually have just one limiting belief about marketing. We probably have several. These are the things that are in your way from marketing in integrity, from a heartfelt place that dramatically attracts your ideal clients to you. When you remove these impediments to being in alignment and marketing from a clear, consistent core message of authenticity, everything changes in your business. In my upcoming program, 
tapping into money marketing and sales mastery. We deal with removing a lot of these limiting beliefs and these contradictory thoughts that are keeping you from marketing in a place of integrity and authenticity. And when you are in integrity and authenticity, your ideal clients are attracted to you in droves. I'll see you in the next video. Remember, we're going to be talking about money, so come prepared for a dramatic shift in your bottom line.